My God, yes, you're right. I am holding the review item in my hands in shot already. That's got to be a rarity. And what are we looking at this time? Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six boxes. Well, boxes. Oh, you know me and words. My way with words of always getting the wrong word out. Yes, six packs of LEGO trading cards, I assume. Well, actually, that's a bit of a lie because there's actually a seventh packet which has already been opened uh, by the people that gave me this, which were actually my parents who, for some reason, had been given these by somebody else, who I don't really know why they were, were given to my parents in the first place, and neither do my parents, to be honest. Um, hmm, I'm pretty sure I'm actually missing a card here. Hmm, yeah, cardy, 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 cardy. Yes, it's supposed to be four cards, so where did the other fourth card go? Uh, hmm, we may never know. Anyhow, I'm not entirely sure what they're supposed to be, other than just general information cards, because here we've got the cowgirl, we've got the prospector, we've got this evil dwarf. Got these symbols in the top right hand corner which i'm not quite sure what they're supposed to relate to possibly some sort of faction thing but then again how does a cowgirl relate to an evil dwarf uh, and also more bizarrely is that on the back see how this particular card has the green and blue in the same places that this one does look what this one doesn't have that this one does it doesn't have the red it doesn't have the yellowy brownish thing brick but hmm yes we've got an evil dwarf and the artwork Looks quite nice. Come on, autofocus. Thank you. Oh, well, nearly. Let's move it back a bit. Ah, that's better. Right, now I know what the distance is. That's the distance I need to keep in order for everything to actually focus properly. Let's just take a look at what this has to tell us. It says, Say one bad word about this evil dwarf's magnificent facial hair and you'll be on a one-way journey to Axville. Yeah, I can believe that. Either that or I'll do your head in with a shield. And... Just to add a bit of sinisterness, just to prove that he is evil, he's left-handed. Look, the axe is in his left hand. Whereas the cowgirl, she's obviously a good person because uh, she's in stuff like bondage. Ah, uh, possibly. You know, she's into things like hog tying people. Possibly. Let's just see what the sign says. This rootin' tootin' cowgirl. Oh my god. Has the fastest lasso hand in the west. Oh my god. Shall I have you roped up quick and you can say draw? And I made all those jokes beforehand before I haven't even actually bothered to read the things. Let's see what it says about the prospect there. Let's hope it's not anything sexual because uh, anybody's sexual fantasies involved in this guy will probably involve being rescued from him and then having sex with somebody else. Anybody else? Uh, I'd say something about prairie dogs, but that just wouldn't be appropriate for YouTube, would it? Give him a sky full of stars, a campfire and a tin of beans and he'll be farting like a trooper. And the prospector is as happy as a prairie dog in mud. Oh my god, it's like I'm psychic or something. I honestly have not read these beforehand. I just picked them up, looked at them and thought, what the hell, they'll do as a quick review. I'm already at the three minute mark. That's not exactly quick when I've got six more packs to open up and go through and see what they are. So I can only assume that this is some kind of box card, presumably. I mean, they've all got numbers 077, 123, 093. They're probably just the card numbers. I wonder if I'm going to get any kind of uh, duplicate cards here. Possibly. Oh, possibly not. Who knows? Let's see. We have a butler. No, he's a waiter. He's a waiter. And the, uh, the drink, the champagne, or whatever it is, the, uh, the berries. Yes, the berries. He's going off. Uh, yes, it's gone up off the bottle. Uh, three, hold it thing. I better hold it down like that so you can actually see what I'm talking about. That's a bit better. Right, his card number is 45, he's got that yellow symbol with what looks like a piece of uh, wrapping paper or something on the top. He's a waiter, and the waiter can be a very clumsy chap. Oh, <laughs> figure that one out already. There's only one tip you should give him. Stop dropping our stuff. Oh, it's a lady bot, it's a femme bot. And I don't think she's got machine gun jugglies. Jugglies, 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 which word is it? Oh, who cares? There's two of them, so take your pick. We've got the scissors in the corner, which I think uh, the evil dwarf had before. Yeah, the evil dwarf had that, so that probably means... No, she's got a different combination of bricks. She's missing the blue in this case. Does that mean she's more powerful than him? And the prospect, they all have the same combination. Hmm, is this some sort of faction thing? I just don't know. Anyway, what does it say about our lady bot, our fembot friend? 
Uh, originally a cool toy, the lady robot soon discovered a passion for dance and disco. Oh, good grief. She does a mean robot dance too. Obs. I'll take your word for it. And there's a butcher on a pink background. Looks like it's the same fashion as the waiter, uh, which is possibly possibly uh, makes some sense in some regard because let's put, face it, they both work in the food industry to certain degrees, I assume. The butcher is everyone's BFF at the BBQ. What does BFF? Best friend forever? I hope so. If there's something he doesn't know about burgers, it's not worth knowing. Number 28. So far, no repeats in the card numbers. Oh, a spaceship! Looks like a miniature space shuttle. Task! Houston, we have a problem. Can you help these astronauts? Their ship's broken down and it's not going anywhere in a hurry. Help them reach the moon by building a new spaceship. I think they've already got one right there. And again, it's missing a couple of different bits. Right, oops, let's just try not knocking the... Uh, let's try not knocking the uh, camera when I change positions on, on the other side. Now these particular cards are just a bit on the stiff side. And we've got another one. This must be the missing card from, from the other pack. Just like we've got the spatial from that pa uh, pack there. The missing pack must have some sort of silvery thing here to create. So is this part, part of some sort of game thing that they've got that I just don't know? And it's called the Create the World series. So let's just say we've got the skyline. Task. The sky's the limit. Buildings in Asia are some of the highest in the world. How high can you build a Lego tower before it falls? Well, how much Lego have you got? Make sure you start with a wide and solid base, then reach for the sky. Just like none of these have wide, solid bases. Huh. And then we have the vampire bat, we have the mountain climber, we have the fairy tale princess. Tell you what, I'm going to do a little bit of a jump cut while I go and just open all of these packs up and see just what we've got in the others. Because we're already at the seven minute mark and I don't want to uh, bore you to death here. So. Any second now, we're going to have a bit of a jump cut. Okay, and we are back, and I've decided I'll just pick up where I left off by just reading about these other uh, pieces that we've got here. So we have the vampire bat, whose story goes, This misunderstood chap might look mean, but he actually loves daylight and thinks his evil master's plans are plain batty. Okay, ready to uh, beat stereotypes, I suppose? The fairy tale princess. Imagine the princess's surprise when the cheeky frog said, Pick her up, your highness. She was hopping mad. My oh, god, that sounds like any number of memes I've seen recently on Facebook uh, involving talking frogs that uh, don't actually turn into princess when they're kissed. But look for sexual gratification and so on and so forth. Oh well, who, kn who knows? Who cares? The mountain climber. Adrenaline is his middle name. The mountain climber has topped every peak on earth. He even met a yeti once. Is that supposed to rhyme? And on one of our other packs, we've got a token. What is it with these other packs? Oh, that, that first pack was very loose, whereas all the other ones just sort of feel quite sticky in some regards, as though there's some sort of static on them. Token! You've got to create a token. Just look at that beak. The token is surely one of the most amazing birds around. Build a bird buddy with a huge beak that even a more colourful. Uh, that's even more colourful than uh, the token, so that they can hang out together. What else have we got here? We have the fortune teller. Well, she didn't see that coming, did she? And by that I mean, well, me doing that not bothering to read her. Well, actually she knew I was going to do that anyhow, because that's the point of the video. This lady is able to tell the future. Well, sort of. Half of her prophecy to come true if only we knew which half. Oh, 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 oh. A boxer, a generic boxer. He's got... Whereas these other two have... Scissors again, he's got what looks like either a lump of meat or a continent. Maybe he's incontinent, who knows? Don't let you go down for a second, the boxer's got a punchy attitude. Oh, yeah. The ringmaster, who kind of looks like uh, a deranged Batman villain in some regards, or at least somebody who's a little m miserable and happy and overwhelmed at the same time. He is the ringmaster. Actually, that kind of sounds like a 15th tier Batman villain in some regards. The Ringmaster is always in the spotlight, introducing the many wonders of his circus, including his sensational moustache and his hilarious joke-like smile. Let's see what have we got in this other pack. Oh, this actually feels like... Was this two different packs? Yes, it was two different packs. I've somehow stuck together a bit. We have to create a moose. There's a massive moose on the loose. 
Most really are huge. In fact, they are the world's largest species of deer. See if you can create the smallest possible moose with as few Lego bricks as possible. Now that's an interesting challenge because it's actually doing exactly the opposite of what it's supposed to. Oh my god, the bagpiper! Now that is one of the worst crimes against humanity ever. The bagpiper has blasted his bagpipes loud and proud all over Scotland and he even played in the library once. That didn't end well. These jokes are worthy of me. In that they're actually worse than me. Worse than mine even. It's a lizard man, and you can obviously tell it's a man in a lizard suit, so he's obviously supposed to be an actor. Maybe it's a tribute to uh, George Papardi's character in the A-Team, John Hannibal Smith, who, despite being on the run, would always act in usually monster roles, where he was literally a guy in a monster suit. Usually come out of the water, if I remember right. Lizard man dreams of being Godzilla and trampling buildings. So far, he's only destroyed two sandcastles, so he's trapped on the beach. Tiger Woman! She can't be called Catwoman for obvious copyright uh, infringement reasons, but she does know how to handle a whip. I wonder if we're going to get more whip hand jokes at this point. Roar! No animal train in the world could tame the Tiger Woman. Sounds like a challenge. You wouldn't want to be around her when she gets her claws out! Oh my god. Traffic Cop. He's a cop who deals with traffic and arrests you promptly when he can. He will never forget that he got a ticket for a park on double yellow lines. It probably didn't help that was his, his helicopter either. Oh, that's actually vaguely funny. But I killed it with my delivery. We have the race car driver. Looks like he might be working for Ferrari, but it's actually called Octan in this case. Got this red suit and that's the, uh, the colour of Ferrari. This speedster loves to burn some rubber. He's got just the car to make it happen. Not bad for a guy who started his career on a tricycle. Wah, wah, wah. We have the deep sea diver. The diver is always on the lookout for exotic fish and other sea creatures, even in his bathtub. We've got the challenge to create an island. Ever wanted to live on a desert island like Robinson Crusoe? Not really, no. Because uh, I've got better things to do with my time. Although if I could live in perfect peace and happiness, then yes. But I'd probably want to have at least one other person with me for things we shan't go on to, as uh, this is YouTube and they don't want people talking about that sort of stuff. Do it Polynesian style and build a cool catamaran and get there. I don't see a catamaran actually there in that picture, so you might have uh, forgotten something there, my friend, whoever wrote this. We've got the DJ. Doof, 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 he, doof, can't, doof, here, doof, you. Yeah, I'm sure that sounded funnier in your head when you, uh, before you wrote it down. Nurse, and not at all to be for, uh, mistaken with Princess Leia armed with a lightsaber. The nurse will cure your ills and get you fighting fit again. This one's seriously, that's one seriously scary syringe though. That's a syringe. Could be something else. That needs batteries. And we've got a sea captain, arr, and a seagull, arr, and some binoculars because he's a pervert. Arr. The sea captain has told so many tall tales about giant squids and sea monsters that people are starting to think he's crazy. And he's got two glass eyes, you see. And somewhat appropriately, we have an ancient ship as a task. Christopher Columbus accidentally found America with three small sailing boats. He was actually looking for India. Rebuild one of his ships using only brown, white and red bricks. They fail because they've got grey with black. Arr. So, can I recommend these because I've got absolutely no idea what they're about? No. Would I recommend them even if I knew what they're about? Well, maybe for the artwork. Oh, and as a special bonus, I found the lost card. It actually slipped down in front of the camera and under my bed, which is this thing here, in case you're wondering what I'm filming against. It's uh, the missing card. It's the task is to create a motorboat. Quite a strong nautical feel overall in this uh, particular episode, as, as well as bondage for some reason. Now, well, task, are you brave enough to take a trip through the Everglades, despite the alligators? Be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. I haven't even seen the remade uh, Beauty and the Beast yet. When do you come back? Build an especially big alligator with a mouth wide open. Or oh, wide open mouth as it's actually written it. Yeah. Oh well. Do it a bit. 